How's it going guys? Welcome back to Stormworks. Today I'm going to be bringing you part 2 of uh, the plane build that I'm doing. And this is going to be doing the avionics and just getting it flying, doing all the cockpit stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so we are on to the avionics now. And that is going to be all your um, controls and things that make it fly basically besides the engine and everything on the wings so we'll start off by doing the separate control surfaces for um, all the different axes that our plane can move and you could use fin rudders um, on this it does say boat control but these also work on planes which is cool and they're nice and small because uh, the smallest control surface is going to be that big so yeah it's pretty big <laughs> now you could I'm going to on the back use a medium because conveniently enough it is the perfect size to fit there. So I'm gonna place it that way around. Actually, gonna delete that whole thing. It could just be the whole uh, tail. It'll still fly. It'll still work. It could come a bit further. Look at that, that is perfect. So that will control our elevation um, on this axis here. Now let's do the rudders. I've kind of made the rudders very small. So this is where our tiny little rudder is going to come in handy. Now you may notice that we have arrows here. Um, one's positive, one's negative. And those indicate if this is receiving a minus one signal or a negative signal, it's going to go that way. If it's receiving a positive, it's going to go that way and you may have noticed that both of them turn into each other and it's not a problem with one rudder but with two like this you do not want them facing into each other because it won't work it will just slow you down because it will just be air brakes basically so what we're going to have to do is either you could use a numerical inverter on one of them uh, which simply flicks the signal over to a minus or a positive depending or you could do what I like to do it's, it's kind of save time and logic um, especially on big creations when you don't want to be just wasting time or putting in more logic um, where you might not be able to fit it so I just like to take off my mirror delete one of them and then replace it in the right direction so now both of them are corresponding and they'll both turn the same way which is awesome and that same theory can be applied to the ailerons the ailerons will make your plane roll by tilting the opposite way to each other so if we did mirror mode then it would both face up and that would literally just act like a elevator which we did there so come in come off there actually I'm gonna bring them in a bit so that there see the minus is facing up there and we'll have the minus facing down right there and while I'm here I might as well add some landing gear on I don't think I'll do it um, retractable I'll just do fixed learning gear 
not that retractable is too hard, you can just use a um, robotic pivot or a hinge or something and then wire a button to it like a door basically um, but yeah we'll grab the small wheel coasters because I think they sort of fit the size of it and we'll have I don't know if I want a massive no, that, that looks horrible I'll just do it like this Let's go back, 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 Boom. Now hopefully that should, depending on the center of mass, it won't rock back. Which I don't want to happen, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, so for the final part, getting this all built. Gonna be working on wiring it all up, getting the seat in, all of that good stuff. Now, to get in, I didn't really think of it, so um, we'll just do a hatch on top. It's the easiest way, I guess. And you get the hatch right at the start, so you don't have to do any crazy research or anything. But there, and I'll just put in a toggle button, I think. That's the push button. Toggle button. Label that hatch top, and then that's gonna go straight to our hatch there, and that allows us to get in and out. Okay, so let's put our seat back in, and I'll use the section plane tool uh, to just get rid of the roof like that so we can actually see inside a lot easier right so I'm gonna just fill that in she put a couple of weight blocks and put the seat in so it doesn't hit okay that is ridiculous Move it back. There we go. Actually, could do it being lower. So it's more forward. Right. So this will be the, the dashboard, I guess. Give this a nice look. Didn't mirror it again. Boop. And because we're going to be transporting people, I'll put in a couple of seats back here. It's going to be very cramped, but yeah. I have to sit on the floor, but I will. Let's see if I can't fit a ladder in to get out. It's all very tight. That's, that's just not going to work, but. <laughs> and that looks ridiculous, so. I'll just leave that. And you can jump out. <laughs> Your design's probably going to be better than, than mine, hopefully you can think ahead. 
bow. Right, and we'll put our button for the hatch. Later. <laughs> right. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna take this away. Actually, it's very cramped. Paint the dash a dark grey. There we go. And now, there are a few things you need to get your plane um, flying with. And the first is going to be getting your engine wired up and powered. And it's the same as you would do it on any other vehicle, really, but. We'll do the throttle on here. Disable mirror, get rid of that, and just put it in nicely there. That'll work fine. And that can be engine throttle. Uh, leave that, and then that goes straight to the throttle. And I think we'll actually wire up one of our pilot seat seats um, to the engine just to save panel space on here. Because I would use instrument panels for everything because you can just fit four times as much stuff on it. But that does take ages and you're not really going to have instrument panels right at the start of the game. Which I'm trying to gear this towards so we'll just do this engine starter and do it a, a push because you don't want a constant clicking going on and that should start powering the um, propeller straight away as it's on there's no clutch or anything that I have, I've put in there so that's fine and we'll do I don't know what to put there. Nothing, I guess. We'll do an artificial horizon. I don't know if you get these right at the start. I don't think so. But basically, anywhere on here now is going to be optional, I guess, on the dash. So you don't have to. You could literally fly it right now. Or well, not right now. I haven't wired up any of the control surfaces. But you could fly it without this. I'm just going to do it because it's easier and you might want it on your plane see all the dials and things so the artificial horizon will just work with power or without it I think so you don't even need um, any like sensors for that and up a dial I'll go fuel level in liters Estimate that about 500 for the two tanks. Um, engine temperature, you always want to watch out for that. I think you can go up to about 100. And then speed. Uh, no, I'll do altitude. And that can go up to. Just put up a few zeros on there. Alright, and I'll make this all a nice blue, I think. And I'll just wire the black light to when you're sitting in the seat. It's on. Alright, so altitude needs an alti uh, altimeter, I think. That can go straight to there, just in meters. Engine temperature goes straight to engine temperature and we have two tanks so add we'll just simply add them a and b add i'll go straight there and that's all that and then to get our plane 
controllable we'll use a gyro just for extra stabilization I guess you don't really need it but we can fit it on the bottom so why not Boom. and this will go this has all your controls for stabilization pitch roll your all that so we'll start with up down now up down is going to be collective in this case so the angle of the prop which way the air is being pushed how much air is being pushed it will control the speed and we are using a pusher prop which has its angle facing oppositely to whatever we give it so to do that we're just using a numerical inverter and that will go straight to up down and then to the collective and then that can go to any any seat button that you want I'm going to do up down for now but I could change it later now pitch is pretty easy pitch is going to go to the rotation of our elevator to pitch up and down I'll do that WS pretty simple now this is where if you put numeric converters on one of these you would obviously do it straight to one straight to the other so roll is going to be our ailerons so I've done them oppositely so just straight there no problem and then your to our rudders and I'll do those roll A D I think yep left right on that cool I'm gonna add a battery and it should be all good to go uh, let's put a battery there and I'll put a generator in just for the sake of it because if I'm going on a long flight I might want some power and I'll just battery everything to each other it's a lot less messy in my opinion this way there you go oh yeah I forgot the um, toggle button which I'll just put right there and this will go to the external input so if you turn that on this button turns on if this button is turned on it will open the hatch and vice versa that needs power okay let's spawn in and wait oh yeah, it's nice and stable cool All right. Let's open the doors and try and get in because I'm a stupid person and I didn't put a ladder or anything. There we go. Now let's jump in to our seat. It's quite low, but that's fine. And our engine is Z. See, there's our propeller going. Engine throttle. Oh jeez, we'll take it off. Crap. All right, so I've managed to push it out of the hangar onto the runway. You might want to add a front landing gear that can actually swivel, because it took me ages. I had to push it out with my bare hands. But yeah. Okay. Let's see if it flies. Do a control surface check. A roll and we've got our rudder we've got the pitch changing on the propeller there awesome we're gonna start the engine and we're not moving because we're at neutral collective and full power oh yeah okay our pet propeller's gone Alright, here we go. 
off the end of the runway. And we're up. And we are very fast. Jesus. Okay, all our dials seem to be working. Engine's getting quite hot. And here we are. We are flying. Beautifully. So, yeah. That is how you build your first plane in Stormux, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more tutorials, uh, be sure to look at my channel. I have a playlist of all of these. So take a look and uh, learn about Stormux. And have fun on your missions with this plane. It's going to be very fast. A lot faster than your boats and your helicopters. And a lot more fun. So yeah, well thank you guys for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one.